As I promised in my last video, I'm going to take this pretty bourgeois horizontal bar chart and pimp it out a bit. When we're finished, it's going to look like this. It's just a little more visually interesting and makes you look kind of like a badass. Okay, so the first step we're going to take here is we need to make one of these columns a negative number. But we're going to adjust the formatting so no one will be able to tell it's negative. So what I did was I just put the number negative 1 in a cell and then go ahead and copy that. My computer's being a little slow because of the screen recording. But we're just going to select this. If you have a long data set, I just do command shift down arrow, control shift down arrow on a PC. And you just right click and choose pay special. If you're on a PC, you'll have to choose pay special twice because that in and of itself is special. And then we're just going to choose multiply. So now you can see where this is already going, but we don't want these to say negative. So we'll, with your data still selected, press command or control one to pull up your formatting options. And as I always say in every blog post, control and command one will give you formatting options for whatever you've selected, whether it's a table, a chart, I use it all the time. So I did a blog post on number formatting, but I'll just review really quickly here. So what we're going to do, we chose custom, and we're just going to put 0, semicolon, 0, semicolon, 0. What this is saying is we don't want decimals. If we wanted decimal places, we'd put 0.00. .00. We don't want any decimal places. And normally, this here, well, let me back up a bit. This first zero refers to how we want positive numbers formatted. The second one is how we want negative numbers formatted. And the third one is how we want zero formatted. So normally, for a negative number, you'd have a negative sign, or sometimes people use parentheses, or they format it as red, that also works, but we're just going to format it exactly the same, and that gets rid of those. Okay, so the next step, we need to move this axis. Obviously, it's in the way. So again, we're going to press Command or Control 1. We're going to come in here to Ticks, which is really weird. Uh, on the PC, you're going to go to Axis Options then axis labels. But here we're going to choose ticks and we're going to choose low. I also don't want these tick marks over here. So I'm going to change major tick mark type to none, which you can also do on the PC. Okay, so now we have uh, our labels off to the left and we're making some good progress. The next thing I'm going to do is I want these to be flushed up against each other. See here how they're right next to each other? So the way we're going to achieve that is we're going to select just one of the data series. I just chose the red one. And then again press command or control 1 and we're going to set this overlap to a hundred percent. On the PC you're gonna go to options and then overlap and set it to a hundred percent. Okay so now that we have them next to each other one thing I don't like here and this may not happen with yours if you get a value that's too close to the upper value so we had one domain authority I think that was 95. So what Excel did was it made our range 150. I'm going to change that so that they both say 100. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the minimum, change it from 150 to 100. Okay, the next thing we're going to do here is I really like to sort my charts. So people naturally read charts top to bottom and left to right. 
So I'm going to take what I think is the more significant value, domain authority. You can choose whichever one you want. We're just going to sort it descending. So this puts our most significant links at the top. All right, then last couple steps here. This is mostly just housekeeping, but I really, really, really don't like legend to the right. So what I do is, of course, press Command or Control 1. I'm not going to keep repeating that. And I'm just going to move this to the top. On the PC, it's legend options top. Okay, and then I always bump up the font size because I think 10 point is a little small. Okay, so next up, I really don't like grid lines. I don't like them on my worksheets. You can see I removed the grid lines here by going to layout and I deselected grid lines. Those are under view on a PC. But I just really, really, really don't like grid lines. And I don't like them in my charts either. So if you really want them, in this case, you want to give some kind of visual guide. A lot of charts, I just take them off. But this one is pretty busy. But what I do is I'll just make it a much lighter color. So that that guide is still there, but it's not so obtrusive. Okay, And then finally, what you always want to do is add a chart. And on the PC, you get to this by going to Chart Tools, Layout, Labels, and then Chart Title. And I always put it above the chart. And I'm just going to call this Links for November 2012. And that's all there is to it.